Hello, welcome back to our videos. Uh, this is uh, turn two, Soviet Impulse uh, three, and I have. Um, uh, I thought I had finished the activation of the movement methods for um, third tank army, but uh, upon reviewing previous part, I have um, noticed uh, quite a few mistakes actually and uh, yeah before proceeding let me fix uh, those mistakes and uh, yeah uh, see uh, how they will be fixed thankfully uh, not uh, something that uh, can be fixed okay uh, first of all uh, while proceeding with uh, movement method 2 I completely forgot I mean even if I mean I had indicated as activated that I, I should have checked this unit selector 12 before um, the other unit but uh, thankfully uh, uh, movement method method 2 wouldn't give us a, a valid move for this uh, unit uh, so uh, no harm done uh, the worst thing is forgetting that this is not a spearhead unit so i should have checked uh, me movement methods four to nine for this unit again i was uh, very lucky because uh, none of the other uh, none of these uh, movement methods would result in the uh, unit moving from that hex uh, i mean uh, cause around i mean it's already uh, uh, it can't get to another hex and cause any other unit um, German units around it just four hexes Soviet VP hex uh, it could move to an empty uh, Soviet VP hex but again no uh, German units were proximate at the time uh, adjusting to German VP hex it couldn't reach any uh, seven adjusting to German unit in logistics hex uh, no unit right now German unit in logistics hex so uh, even if it will, uh, even, even if there was a unit in a logistics hex, uh, it couldn't reach. And yeah, that was that eight was uh, a little bit of um, you know question for me, but uh, um, that's what BGG is for, and Grant uh, has uh, you know uh, answered me. Uh, eight, it would probably apply uh, I mean if the situation is um, as is right now it would apply but um, uh, by the time of the check it was stuck with another unit with uh, this unit uh, which then moved out uh, so it was not satisfying uh, movement method the 8 per se it wasn't in an otherwise unoccupied hex it was stuck so uh, it wouldn't uh, uh so we would proceed nine doesn't apply and then we go to ten and uh yeah ten is um uh, movement arrows uh, it's a sending order and uh, it wouldn't give us uh anything it can't uh, follow the orders and then 11 closes to front objective and then uh there was then this unit which has a selector by one uh, moved out and moved closer to the front objective so now this is the only unit here and as you can see this is a unit that is causing surround so no matter which uh, movement method uh, we check for this unit it can't move as any move by this unit would cause these units the stack of German units to become unsurrounded and this is prohibited by uh, 9.23 uh, so I mean, uh, if any, if it could move, you know, uh, just to go here, it would leave the unit uh, unsurrounded. I mean, uh, because there are only two units uh, in opposite hexes surrounding this unit, so this can't move by um, practically can't move at all uh, because it has to keep that uh, this unit surrounded. If any, if we move it to just one hex, it would leave a gap so um, these units will become uh, unsurrounded so yeah this stays where it is it was lucky for us uh, but then um, towards the end of the movement methods the last uh, two method two units that have moved uh, it was uh, a mistake it was moving closer to front to front objective but uh, 
as you probably remember from the previous part, we were so pro pro preoccupied with um, units moving not just into German units and, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, 9.25 and how to adjust and stuff like that, that I completely forgot the... Uh, <laughs> I was trying to get adjusted to uh, to German unit and closer to objective, whereas I was trying to implement uh, movement method 11, which movement method 11 doesn't say anything about adjacency to um, a German uh, occupied uh, unit. I mean, it, it is a preference, but the first preference is closest to objective. Uh, so, and I failed to, uh, you know, to take that into account. I was so preoccupied moving adjacent to German unit and see if 925 would, would apply. <laughs> so, okay, let me fix this mistake. It, it was this unit uh, here uh, that started in this hex. I moved it here which is closer, but there is a he it can do closer uh, to objective, it actually can reach this one and uh, yeah, this one, uh, I think it's the closest it can get because this one, uh, 1108 is 1, 2, 3 away whereas this one, uh, that I moved it initially was 1, 2, 3, 4 so it's the closest, so uh, let me run this again so this one would go two break in zone of control and then three, four, five, six, and it would end up here, which is uh, of course one, two, three. This is four, so uh, not next to um, a German unit, no uh, adjustment. And again, the same happened with uh, this unit here, the last unit to move, and uh, this unit started here I think yeah it started some curve here and I want uh, closer to the objective but it could actually reach one two three four it could reach this hex which is just two away whereas this hex is one two three four uh, away again so um, if you uh, the preferences of the method uh, call for um, the first preference is closest to objective and yeah obviously uh, two bits four so this is where it will go uh, no matter how much we wanted to test a 925 and stuff like this so yeah so uh, all the third tank uh, units have moved uh, hopefully uh, correctly this time and uh, yeah, uh, and yeah, uh, this is still active, but it's not able to move. I mean, if uh, it wasn't able to move by the other methods four to nine, then uh, from method ten, eleven, it would be uh, this unit would go uh, as it did, and so this is the only unit now causing shroud, so it can't uh, move away. So. Uh, now let's see. So the next step now is um, attack checks, of course, in uh, ascending order. So yeah, and I think I can see an attack coming up. I mean, uh, let's see. Let's check the numbers here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see where is this? Yes. Uh, it's, uh, number one. No, it's number three actually. Yeah. It's, it does matter as you. Yeah, it does matter because we have a units adjusting these type of units adjusting to both these hexes, and yeah, it, it really matters. Uh, which unit will go first, but uh, it's three here. This is the first unit, the lead unit we will check. So, uh, okay, and it's against this hex. So, uh, all active units adjusted to target, uh, all these five units against uh, this one. 
and uh, there are no uh, third tank uh, reserve units uh, in the box so uh, no uh, the auxiliary card doesn't show assault coordination so yeah even uh, so it's just these units and okay it's not across Dnieper River it's across uh, yeah it's not even all of them are so let's uh, see what our strength what we have to deal with okay so it's it's a four here and four it's eight and it's three it's eleven it's eleven and it's fifteen eighteen it's eighteen to four and do we get any bonus i think we get a uh, no improved position but we're adjusting to german supplied unit so it's 18 to 5. uh not all attackers are across uh river uh all german units dispersed no all german units of supply no so it's 18 to 5 so that's uh, um that's three to one actually and three to one uh it goes ahead yeah uh, of course the real ratio would be four to one it's 18 to four uh so yeah it it goes ahead this is gonna goes ahead three to one or better uh so uh yeah let me zoom in a little bit yes that's better so uh these units will attack and yeah let me see the procedure so it's uh now we get to see if we're um uh, i mean first step uh i got uh, no active reserve units uh, uh is it an overwhelming attack uh no no it could have to be uh six to one it's not even uh, if we it's 18 to 4 18 to 4 is um four to one it's four to one so no way it's an overwhelming attack but uh yeah uh combat tactic so yeah first first draw and then we check the and combat tactic and the card is partisans and i think partisans will apply since we're in the woods so uh let me check this yes partisans does not apply any hex unless okay if attacking if attacking a good short hex increase german hits by one off and i can't play the reverse battle combat tactic to a german defense well i don't think i have that card but uh yes uh i reduce soviet no uh which i just increase german hits by one so uh, <laughs> there's our first hit already there and then i check to um i check the auxiliary card don't i yeah if any applied compact tactics if all are different and beneficial to attack skip attack if overwhelming no it's not overwhelming or a support it isn't so um yeah let me get the auxiliary card which shows uh yeah, if, oh, sorry it shows nkvd so yes nkvd will apply uh soviet attack increase hits incurred by the defender by one okay. and nkvd combat hits apply as well so uh that's all i mean yeah uh, that's um yeah that's already two hits for us before even the battle has started so uh yeah yeah it's two hits it's a two-step unit and uh, yeah uh let me uh see that well uh, next step is i have to decide if i will have to play if i will play a combat tactic to aid uh, the defense but 
let me see the seats first it would be how many uh, it would be one two three no yeah that's a three step here so it's uh, one two three four plus two for this unit six plus it's eight seats it's a large attack it's a four to one large attack and they've already sustained two hits even before the attack has started so now uh, yeah i'm going to do this again i have done it with i'm going to play a combat tactic and uh, if you remember i hold this card it's unfortunate is the primary card for the third corpse uh, but uh, i think it's important to keep this unit alive so i'm going to it's for the defensive sorry i'm going to uh, pull out to play this card now and pull out and the good thing about this card is that the um, prior to combat resolution retreat the defending stack two hexes in accordance with the retreat rules but do not displace disperse market so the retreat must end in a hex in german supply the attack is considered resolved and the attackers may advance after combat discard all soviet cards containing combat tactics applied to this combat the good thing is that uh they lose their auxiliary uh, they will lose uh, the tactic of course a six army uh, card and they will lose the auxiliary card which would give a uh, mobile group pop off uh, and a command right after that so yeah i know my cards are valuable and i don't have but i think uh, that's a good use of this card but uh, in, in every sense this attack has happened so it has the added benefits the added benefits sorry that uh, these units will not uh, count in the attack so they ha they have attacked but they have found they haven't found anything so uh i will retreat i will retreat um two hexes yeah no so it's here well <laughs> it will be and uh, well i've got some choices i could get them one here and two here uh behind these guys and keep them adjacent uh i could get them one here and i can't of course go here because it's a zone of control i uh, keep here adjacent to this uh guy giving him plus one uh but i don't think i mean the units they have <laughs> skipped him uh you know what uh both these hexes are clear we have the plus one of course um uh, benefit and yeah uh there is a path of retreat isn't there yeah i i, I mean the other option is to yeah get it here as far away, away as possible from these units and uh, right next to Kharkov so um i could retreat into Kharkov if i get you know a one uh but if i get a two yeah i get a really bad result yeah i don't want to yeah i want to keep my units close to Kharkov we're going to get a unit into Kharkov at some point but uh Mm, I, yeah no, but now they have yeah we've got a line here but it wouldn't be better if I, yeah so th they get the plus one right now still we've got this line here and it will be you'll have to squeeze through here i mean they will go into attack to go of course so yeah they will advance they, they will get here because uh, there is a path of retreat and ignore zones of control but then yeah yeah any unit advancing here will be surrounded and unable to move uh, so yes I, I i might risk it here so i get the bonuses in attack checks uh i mean both three all of these three hexes are clear so yeah so yeah no why not having the bonus and yeah if uh, I, I can retreat um i could retreat here and uh, then to kharkov i suppose hopefully yeah i would hate to lose <laughs> kharkov but yeah yeah that's that's what i'm going to do i'm going to leave it here so uh good thing is 
none of these are reused cards so yeah they go yeah it has to go and okay uh, just uh, let me check something and I'll get back to you okay I was checking for the card if any uh, combat tactics notes for the Stavka card I, I remember that there is a um, combat tactic that applies uh, so I'm um, discarding my uh, card too so uh, yeah advance yeah <laughs> sorry totally forgot <laughs> the key point here is that they can advance okay uh, so it's what it's uh, yeah it's ascending order and here uh, but just let me check just to be sure uh, yeah that's a three that's 18 that's a 10 here so yeah this is the first unit okay uh soviet advance after combat uh okay uh, so it's uh the first that apply it has to be this hex the one it's the uh but it's um secondary direction no units there so it's automatic advance yeah this unit has advanced but uh it in doing so it crossed an unbridged donuts river uh so it can't advance a second hex uh it's funny how they say it first hex centered must be okay if unit didn't cross well it did cross an unbridged uh donuts river it may advance if it didn't cross it may but it cross so it may not advance a second hex so yeah this one can uh next is number uh number nine that's infantry so it's only one hex now it's again uh, the first hex has to be that uh, uh, this hex is secondary direction there is already one unit uh, there so uh, it's going to be um, one to six chance so let me roll and die here and can you see it? yeah it's a four so it will advance here yeah it's infantry so it can't advance a second hex and yeah now uh have we to do we have to check no uh, i mean i would normally proceed and check this but uh, if you look at the uh, table um since uh, there uh, no matter what the hex is since there are already uh two units in the hex uh we don't it's no in every uh case we don't uh, advance and uh, yes uh yeah w well there ha the argument has come up that yeah maybe this unit would just uh it's mechanized it would just pass through the hex and um but uh, then it's a chance if it will go or not go so uh, i think it has been um uh, clarified that uh, the stacking limits for uh, advancing u for uh, non-player units have to be enforced uh, even during uh, when the seat, uh, both solo games uh, the stacking flexibility during the retreated advance applies only to the live player side and uh, the stacking flexibility for the non-player side applies only during movement not during retreat and advance so yeah it will stop here it was clarified in the official uh, written clarifications so yeah uh, we'll stop checking here uh, they can't i mean they haven't reached their stacking limit but uh, yeah no sorry can't reach second limit but again yeah uh, it's yeah it, it's uh, there are already two units so yeah and the attack hex so they will not uh, I mean yeah they, they will not advance the fir a first hex let alone uh, a second yeah so yeah this is where infantry yeah one would 
could go there and uh, stop, but it, there are already two units, so yeah, uh, not checking this. And yeah, I think yeah, before talking about stacking, we should check if they can uh, advance, and uh, they can't actually. And uh, this mainly because it because the first unit sector was mechanized and it. Uh, crossed an unbridged uh, river to get into the f first hex, so it has to uh, stop there. It's a uh, rule easy to overlook, but uh, thankfully I have remembered the rule. So, uh, okay, next uh, we could go on with the attack checks. So now uh, these units have attacked, so uh, it's number five there, uh, selector, so this is the lead unit. Uh, so it's five. It's eight against uh, what? It's uh, six. Uh, they can't count on any help because these 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 units have already attacked. No assault coordination. I mean even. Okay. So it's uh, eight against six. And let me uh, calculate. Uh, eight against six. It's one to one actually. Uh, so yeah, we uh, oh no sorry it's not six uh, improved position adjustment to no it's not adjustment all attackers across yes they are across the gate it's eight to seven actually and yes it's eight to seven it's one to one uh, so tactical value and yeah they've got good chance of this happening because the card is a front card so that's command value four they start with a four and let's check the situations okay uh command situation strength greater than two to one it's not Soviet artillery barrage no S attacking soviet support that's a five uh if only soviet unit units have armor no if any attacking units are surrounded uh no uh, if flanking will apply, no, it will be a one hex attack. Or defender will be surrounded and unable to stress. No, it's not surrounded yet. Uh, target hex has VP value greater or equal to two, no, to one. If uh, all combat tactics on auxiliary car will apply to attack, no, auxiliary. If less than four cords in Soviet draw pile, no, it's obviously more than four so yes uh, so it's a five yeah and let me run it again uh, command four uh, attack and show it support five attacking against defenders target hip combat no it's a five so this attack uh we need the seven this attack doesn't go on and yeah we also have to check uh, sorry, let me zoom out. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. We uh, we have to check this uh, situation also because this is an active unit. Uh, so it's three, and yes, these units are dispersed. It's three against three against three these are dispersed and let's uh, uh, yeah let's calculate the situation of strength I mean just three but uh, we're not in improved position I lost that one previously uh, we're not adjusting to units all attackers no uh, all German units dispersed so that's three two that's minus one so that's three to two, uh, we're not yet out of supply, so that's three to two. It's uh, yeah, one, and, and so again, we have to uh, calculate the uh, tactical value. So it's four for the we're just taking the four for the command value of uh, the card, then situation strength uh, ratio. Two to one, it's not artillery barrage. No um, attack isn't Soviet support, so it goes to five. 
Uh, only Soviets have armor, no one has armor. Any attacking units are surrounded? No. If flanking will apply? No. Or defender will be surrounded? Yes, defender is sur already surrounded. And unable to trace supply? Yeah, at the moment of the check, he's unable to trace supply. So, uh, yeah, that's a six. Target VP hex? No. All combat tactics of the auxiliary? No auxiliary. And less than four cards in Soviet draw pile? Yeah, there are. More. Way more than four, so yeah, we remain at six. So again, this attack will not uh, go on. We needed a seven, yeah, by one, but it will not. Uh, I don't think I have missed anything. Well, uh, th that would be an interesting attack. Uh, yeah, so I think this concludes the Voronezh front card activation. We have. Uh, made all checks, solar units have moved, and now what we've got to do is um, normally we check for um, uh, no, that's time for uh, we would remove active units to reserve box. So, acting in supply is eligible if the unit didn't move or attack this activation and all the following apply i mean uh, all the units of third tank army have um, moved uh, oh have they i mean yeah no just let me check the yeah i think they have all moved i mean i have marked them as moved but uh you know just um yeah, I'll check later and fix it uh, at the end of the impulse anyway. So, uh, the, uh, the only m unit marked as active and hasn't done anything is this one. So, uh, it is adjacent to a German unit. And uh, removal would not cause Soviet unit to be nearly surrounded or unable to trace apply. Um, no. If in operation limit, removal would not cause surrounded German unit to become surrounded, and the, there you have it. If I remove this, it will be uh, these units will be unsurrounded. So, stop. We're not examining uh, anything, uh, anything else. So, so yes, uh, that's the end. Yeah, that's the end of the Soviet impulse the third soviet impulse so uh, let me discard the command card and uh, no uh, they don't okay they uh, haven't any unit dispersed so yeah it's again the uh, impulse the our impulse